Welcome. Let's explore syncing Clever or ClassLink with Seesaw. Before we get started, make sure you're signed in to your Seesaw for Schools district admin account. In order to access your roster sync dashboard, you must be a Seesaw district admin. To start the flow of data between Clever or ClassLink and Seesaw, first, you will need to manually initiate a full sync. If a full sync has not yet been manually initiated, you will see this banner on your district dashboard. To run your first sync, tap Manage Roster Sync. On your Roster Sync dashboard, you will see a list of schools. The schools listed in your Roster Sync dashboard indicate that data for that school is being shared through your Clever or ClassLink sharing rules. Data between Clever or ClassLink and Seesaw is synced school by school, so this list should match the list of schools that will be using Seesaw this year. The green check mark and syncing nightly status indicate that the connection between Seesaw and Clever or ClassLink is set up and standing by for your first sync. Because a full sync has not been run yet, all schools should have the last data changes never status. Data will not automatically flow into Seesaw until you have initiated your first full sync. Tap the blue Sync All Schools button to initiate the first full sync, which will bring all Clever or ClassLink data over to Seesaw. During this process, new classes will be created, existing teacher and student accounts with emails or student IDs that match the information in your shared data will be found and updated, and accounts will be created for all students and teachers who do not have existing accounts that match the data in the sync. This process can take several hours depending on the amount of data syncing. Please feel free to check back later. There are three types of syncs between Clever or ClassLink and Seesaw. First, the full sync, which you just initiated, resets all syncing data in Seesaw to match exactly what is shared in Clever or ClassLink for all schools in your district. A full sync does not delete any classes, teachers, students, or student work. The second type of sync is the manual sync. This is a school-level full sync. All Clever or ClassLink data at the school where you run a manual sync will be reset to match exactly what is shared. You will use this to resolve sync errors or when you need to sync changes made to only one school without affecting other schools in your district. Note, any manual changes made in Seesaw to classes that sync with your SIS, such as adding students to a Seesaw class when they aren't rostered to that class in your SIS, will be undone by a manual sync. Like a full sync, a manual sync will force the data in Seesaw at a school-by-school -school level to exactly match what is being shared from your SIS. If you need to keep manual changes in Seesaw, please reach out to Seesaw Support for assistance before running a manual sync. Last but not least is the nightly sync, which happens every night unless paused. Clever or ClassLink and Seesaw sync nightly at approximately 8.30 p.m. Pacific Time. The nightly sync only syncs changes to your data that have not previously been shared with Seesaw. Now, let's go back and check our full sync. Once your first full sync is complete, you should see green circles with check marks indicating that Clever or ClassLink and Seesaw were able to sync and that the nightly sync will run every night. The last data changes information will update only when new data is found during the nightly sync. It does not indicate when the last sync ran. If the green check mark and syncing nightly status is visible, your sync is running nightly. Instead of a green check mark, you may see a red X. This indicates that there is an error that needs to be addressed before the nightly sync can run. For more information on how to resolve these errors, please visit our Help Center or contact Seesaw Support. That's it! You've completed your first sync. You should not need to run another full sync until next school year. 
find more setup steps and resources here. We recommend bookmarking this page for quick access. Thanks for joining us today. See you again soon!